ASAT Arts is running a 12-week project that's going right through to the spring. Um, it's engaging older people all over East Belfast and getting people involved in arts that might not have been involved before. We started with craft and then we had three weeks of creative writing and now we're on to music. And following this, we will be doing some printmaking. We wrote short postcard stories. Jan Carson, who was facilitating the workshop, brought in teapot and everybody wrote a story about what a teapot meant to them. Um, then we have, we're now working on music workshops, so we have Shannon Murray, who is getting everyone to sing along every week and even get involved in some percussion with some instruments. It's lovely to see people who are maybe a little bit more shy over tea and coffee open up as we start to sing. So we'll sing songs that people know, learn some new songs together and then get out the handheld percussion. I play a bit of saxophone and some people like to get up and even have a bit of a dance. Well, I think it's brilliant, first of all, that Jackie and Eastside Arts have put this together. It was a brilliant project and especially I'd be biased as a musician but all of the arts are so good to encourage people to engage, get out and about in their local community and this is such a lovely venue. For me then it's always about encouraging people to express themselves creatively in that safe positive environment and the participants just love it. It's something lovely to get out to, that's the main thing and you're safe and secure here. I can enjoy doing it, Mum enjoys doing it. You find if it's just the two of us in your room, you go out to things, it's just the two of us. But whereas if there's other people and mummy, you know that she's happy and contented, where I could go off and stand up to the grass up there and have a cup of coffee. So you can't have a bit of time to yourself and you know that she's safe and happy. The, this project's very exciting because we actually developed it along with a lot of the people who are participating. We consulted with a variety of different car homes and full homes, individuals and age relevant organisations and one of the things that we're getting back is it's great to have something local that people can come to on a weekly basis, um, get a bit of tea, have a chat with some of the same people and try something new. Well, we were delighted this year to be able to award 20 projects across Northern Ireland funding to roll out a one-year programme. So a lot of the projects are using potentially people like the local pharmacy, the local parishes, and um, those who know people who are out there really lonely and haven't gotten involved in a group to date. And the legacy element of that is usually they form friendships and then they're encouraged to maybe meet for coffees and things afterwards. The same people seem to be coming every week which is great, especially from some car homes that have real difficulty getting people involved in activities. We offer transport and we bring them here and they're finding it's really nice they're getting to see the same people every week, chat to the same people, make new friends and um, it's something really positive for them.